first Hello. phone. Hello. Hi guys. It's been a year and a half since we launched the first phone from Poco. We are here to the next launch, the new series from Poco, the Poco X series. Yeah. The first product we are launching, we are calling it the Poco X2. So let's talk about display. Poco X2 comes with a large 6.67 inch screen with an aspect ratio of 20 is to 9. Let's take example of a 16 is to 9 display with a PUBG screenshot and a 20 is to 9 as well. What you're seeing on your left is a 16 is to 9, but on the right, 20 is to 9. So you have a much viewing, better viewing angle, and at the same time, your controls are being far wider. So that's the beauty of having a 20 is to 9 display. So I'm glad to introduce <coughs> the Reality Flow 120 hertz display on Poco X2, which is smooth AF. Smooth AF? It is smooth and fast, guys. That's what we meant. <laughs> it is smooth and fast, guys. There are two major benefits. One, enhanced gaming. Second, enhanced app experience. So when we were looking, when we were talking to gamers, primarily the PC and console gamers, they've always put higher refresh rate as their number one ask. This is primarily so that they can react quickly to your opponents, respond faster, and it's just a lot more smoother, guys. So what we are going to show here is a Poco X2 versus a Realme X2 comparison. The 60 hertz, Realme X2 has a 60 hertz, and a Poco X2 has a 120 hertz comparison. So we are playing Altos Odyssey here. On the left, you are seeing Poco X2. On the right is the Realme X2. See here on Realme X2, it's, there are kind of jitters or stutters coming in, whereas Poco X2, it's much more smoother. So it gives you a very beautiful experience while you're playing games that support 120 hertz. Let's talk about smooth day-to-day -day usage. So again, Poco X2 compared with Realme X2. So we are using InShots app. Just see the way it kind of moves. It kind of flows. Whereas Realme X2, there are a little bit of jitters. Now let's take a look at an app like Instagram as well. Very smooth on Poco X2. Realme X2, in fact, there's even a problem with the loading. So that's display, guys. Reality Flow 120 hertz display, 20 is to 9 large cinematic display, and intelligent dynamic refresh rate to keep your phone last longer. To talk about performance, Poco X2 comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G chipset. It also comes with Adreno 618 GPU. This, is, this has 15% faster games rendering. First, let's take a look at the Antutu scores. As you can see, Snap, Snapdragon 730G pretty much beats all of them. Let us try to look at how the benchmark scores are for Poco X2 versus Realme X2. Surprise, Poco X2 beats Realme X2's Antutu score as well. Even in GPU scores, Poco X2 outperforms Realme X2. Now let's do something more interesting. Let's run Antutu score for five times one after the other. For Poco X2 versus Realme X2, Poco X2 stays at the top continuously even after five cycles, whereas Realme X2's performance throttles over time. Now why is this the case? Two major reasons, better quality components and better software optimizations. What do I mean by high quality components? This is a learning which we picked from Poco F1 days, where we are bringing back liquid cool technology to help you with more sustained peak performance. What a liquid cool technology does is dissipate heat 300% faster than the ones without liquid cool technology. That way, your performance keeps in a straight line and at always at peak. Let's take a look at the video to understand what we have done is we have actually taken 35 apps which we generally use. And we have tried opening those apps one after the other to see how Poco X2 performs vis-a-vis -vis Realme X2. So as you can see very clearly, Poco X2, even for the daily task, it outperforms Realme X2, just as seen in the video. For Poco X2, we are coming up with 4,500 milliamp hour battery. We also have 27 watt fast charging. But guys, we have the charger in the box. As you can see in this graph, for 0 to 100, Poco X2 takes 68 minutes, whereas Realme X2 takes 76 minutes. It's not just the speed, uh, efficiency, but also the temperature while it charges. With Realme X2, it reaches its highest temperature by the 17th minute itself. By, but for Poco X2, it reaches the highest temperature by the 53rd minute. The difference is much starker when it comes to the charging block. 
if you see here, right, Realme X2 almost reaches to a temperature of 55 degrees Celsius, whereas Poco X2 goes up to maximum of 48 degrees Celsius. So with Poco X2, you get 8 GB of LPDDR4X RAM and 256 GB of UFS 2.1 storage. I'm sure all of us here like to have a good camera along with your phones. For Poco X2, for the very first time, we are bringing the Sony 64 megapixel IMX686 camera, guys. We have four sensors in the rear, starting with the 64 megapixel Sony sensor, two megapixel depth sensor, eight megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and two megapixel macro sensor. In the front, we have dual in screen cameras, the 20 megapixel being the primary, and two megapixel being the depth, of se depth sensor. But by the way, guys, this is not the actual image that was taken. This is the photo. So brilliant capture of details with the 64 megapixel Sony sensor. On the left, you have Poco X2's 64 megapixel sensor, the Sony sensor. On the right, it's Realme X2. We are zooming in. And as you can see, with Poco X2, all the details are retained. Realme X2 has more washed out and more overexposed here. From the grill, if you see, it's very apparent that Poco X2 gives more details than the Realme X2. Now let's talk, the, talk about the performance in the low light. This is an example of the photo that has been taken by Poco X2 in night. The camera just incredibly well. You see here, the uh, exposure is very nice, and there is little noise as well. The third, the 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. With this, you can actually take brilliant landscape photos. By the way, the macro sensor in Poco X2 can go as close as 2 centimeters. Realme X2 can go as close as four centimeters without losing. As you can see, the image here, all the details are retained, including the lines on the shell. For all the creators here and across the country, we are bringing three new features. First, raw image capture. So for all the professional photographers here, you can do post-processing skills. The next, 960 FPS slow motion capture. For all the people who like platforms like TikTok, you can do, create amazing content with 960 FPS slow motion capture. Now, we also are bringing new feature called vlog mode. Let me show you a video, try to understand what it is. So what it does, it, ha it takes the user step by step and doesn't, you don't need to be doing a post processing here. The phone automatically, automatically does it and gives you a very brilliant output. Now let us put this against the Realme X2's camera. With Poco X2, you get the Sony sensor. You have a two megapixel macro, but which can go as close as two centimeter focal length, focal length whereas it's not the case with Realme X2. Raw image capture and vlog board, these are certain details which we are bringing for our, all our fans. But trust me when I'm saying this, guys, it also does a wonderful job when you're taking videos. Let me show you an example of that. After looking at the video, I felt that I should have gone and not my team, by the way. Now, moving on to the final section, the design section, is have a physical fingerprint on the side. So if you are a right-handed person, your thumb is always on the fingerprint. If you are a left-handed person, either the index finger or the middle finger will be on the fingerprint scanner to unlock your phone. Moving on to the curved Gorilla Glass 5 that we have on the back for Poco X2. Along with GG5 having in the, ba in the back, we also have Gorilla Glass 5 in the front. We have the speaker, which is extremely nice, loud, and clear, which is the 1217 super linear. We have also retained the headphone jack, guys. So yeah, I think that's becoming a norm right now, I guess. Now moving on to the colors. There are three colors that we are launching. The first one is Atlantis Blue. The second one is Matrix Purple. And the third one is Phoenix Red. So the next section is all about those features that you asked for, and we are trying to get it. First, the kernel source. Starting today, Poco X2's kernel source will be available on GitHub. Second, IR Blaster. Poco F1 did not have an IR Blaster. Raw capture image is something which you guys asked. Having VO Wi-Fi uh, support out of the box. Poco F1 was the first phone to come with P2i splash proof resistant technology. So we are glad to bring that back to Poco X2.
So Poco X2 is a brilliant phone. It has everything you need and nothing you don't. Reality flow 120 hertz, Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G, liquid cool technology, 8 GB of storage, and for the first time, 64 megapixel Sony sensor in the country. Now, it comes in three variants, guys. Sorry, 6 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage, and all the way up to 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage. OK, let me just make it clear. It's Thank you, guys. It's 15999. The 6 plus 64 Poco X2 starts at 15999. And the 6 GB plus 128 GB variant, 16999. And the 8 GB plus 256 are 19999. Poco X2 will be available on Flipkart starting 11th Feb, starting 12 noon. So that's Poco X2, guys, with in it all its glory.